Good morning class, welcome to Game Dev Academy, I'm Shane and in today's video I want to show you how to download Quixel Bridge and more importantly get the Unreal Engine 4 plugin set up and working so you can send your downloaded assets straight into Unreal Engine 4. So let's have a look at what we need to do to achieve that now. The first thing we need to do is go to the Quixel website. So you can just search for that in Google like I'm doing here and then go to their website. Then you'll need to sign in to make sure that you get the free assets from Megascans. Make sure that you sign in with your Epic Games account just as I'm showing you here. Once you're signed in, you can look at the products section at the top of the page and go to Bridge, which is the application that allows you to download the Megascans assets and put them straight into Unreal Engine 4. So click on the download for free button and wait for Bridge to download. The download will take a couple of minutes. Once it's finished downloading, open the application and this will install Bridge for you. Once it's installed successfully, you'll get an icon on your desktop Use that to open the application. You'll probably have to let it through your network. And then you need to decide where you want it to put the downloads from Megascans. So I've decided to create a folder on one of my larger hard drives because the downloads can get quite big. Then you can click on Next. Make sure that you choose the export target as Unreal Engine if that's what you're going to be using. And then you'll need to download the plugin which will allow you to send your assets directly from Bridge into Unreal Engine 4. Once the plugin has downloaded, you need to set it up. So you'll need to make sure you select the right engine version. So the first thing I did was check which versions I have installed. 4.25 is not working quite right for me right now, so I decided to go with 4.24. So I chose that in the dialog there. And then I needed to tell it where to put the plugin. This is important. It is in your program files folder, if that's where you have Unreal Engine installed to. Go into the Epic Games folder the version that you've got into engine and then there's a plugins folder that's the folder you need to choose then you can just click on install plugin that doesn't take long and then press the done button you've got the plugin installed you're ready to send assets from bridge into unreal engine in order to download them i need to sign in with my epic games account again to make sure that i get all of the free assets that quicksell now gives you that, that they've been bought out by epic and now i'm logged in i need to find something just so that i can download it and send it over to Unreal Engine to make sure that the plugin is working correctly. So let's open the engine first. You must have the engine open for the plugin to work. So I'm just going to quickly create a new project. So I'll just choose a game. First person will do just for the purposes of checking that the plugin's working. Make sure that I'm happy with all the settings. Choose somewhere to save it and then create project. When the engine opens, you should see a Mega Scans button at the top of your viewport. That means that the plugin is installed. If you click on it, you'll see there's a few settings you can change, but I'm going to leave these all at default and then go back over to Bridge to see what I can download. So just for today, I'll have a look in Props and oh, I'm feeling that storage section there. Let's see what we've got in there. And let's just have a little look. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the look of that wooden barrel. So I'm gonna select that. I'll then just change the texture resolution. I don't need 8K for this, 2K will be more than enough. And then click on download. You can see that it downloads. And once the download is completed, I get an export button. And now because that plugin is installed and I have Unreal Engine 4 open, when I click on export like this, I can now have a look in the engine and see it being imported on the other side. So you can see now all the different assets are coming in and it puts them all into a folder for me. You can see that I've got the textures, I've got the asset itself, the 3D model, and I've got a material. And you can see that it puts it into a Megascans folder, 3D assets, there's the wooden barrel, and here's all the stuff. And I can drag that from my content browser straight into a level. It's a little bit on the small side, so I'll just scale it up and there you go. That's all you need to be able to know to get assets from Megascans into your Unreal Engine 4 levels in just a few clicks. If you've got any questions about this process, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll answer them if I can. And I am planning to do some live streams in the future. I've got my eye on doing a really nice landscape layer blend material. So um, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see how I get on with that little experiment. Okay, that wraps this video up then. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my glorious Patreon supporters. You guys rock. And hopefully I'll see all you beautiful people in another video.